Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to the start of uh, to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. We'll do we'll do clown makeup. We'll do clown makeup media. Fido, who's dressed up as Pico from Newgrounds. Supporter, support a young startup. Buy the game. Yay! So our our first game is gonna be called. Gumby's Revenge. It's gonna be a. <laughs> Should it be? Should it? Disaster? <laughs> RPG. Really? They're, they're seriously. We're gonna start with the. um, We're gonna start with the G64. But eventually, we do need to move to the PC. We do have to actually have to eventually move to the PC. So we're going to do Gumby's Revenge. Uh, it's a Disasters. That's the topic. It's an RPG. And it's a, on the Commodore 64. This is a lot different than what the game used to be when it came out. What? What'd I do? Oh. Okay, I guess I unselected it. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, 2D graphics. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's gonna be 2D graphics. It has to be 2D graphics. Alright, start making that game, Fido. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your game can uh, greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description on the different areas, please refer to the game help menu. Okay, so the game is going to be very heavily focused on gameplay. Um, the engine is gonna be also heavily focused, of course. Uh, and story and quests are gonna be... I think gameplay should take up the most. Gameplay is very important, as well as story, but not as much on the engine, I think. I think the engine should be the least f uh, focused thing. Definitely gameplay and story, story and quests and stuff like that. I think this makes sense. The cringiest people are people who are uh, only, uh, they only like forts. I think that's pretty cringy. Like, uh, they, they only specifically... Ugh. Uh, artificial intelligence? Well, it's an RPG game, remember? So, uh, AI is pretty stupid. <laughs> no. We'll have some time dedicated to artificial intelligence. Level design? Sure. Dialogue is very important. Gumby's Revenge is gonna have, uh, is gonna have a high focus on dialogue, artificial intelligence, and level design. Kind of like that. Because level design isn't nearly as important in an RPG. Dialogue is very important. Okay. World design? I like how level design isn't that important. World design is definitely good. Graphics are gonna be up there. That I think graphics are gonna be very important, and sound is gonna be somewhat important. So it's gonna kinda be like that. The first reviews uh, for your newly released game, Gumby's Revenge, um, came in. Not much fun! Utterly uninspiring? What? A waste of money? 
<laughs> he got a three. I'm gonna make no money from this. Clown Makeup Media, a newcomer in the game industry, has released the first game, Gumby's Revenge. The game has a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Clown Makeup Media will develop deliver in the future. <laughs> Gumby's Revenge has sold 1,480 uh, units in the first week on the market. Now that your game is on sale, the <laughs> moderate response. Now the game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. So this is where the money comes in. Star Cadets Command. It's gonna be a space game. It's gonna be a... Should we do strategy? Or a simulation? <laughs> Make a rip-off Star Wars game. I wanna do an RPG. No, okay. I don't think we'll be able to make games that we really want to make. We're being over... We're, we're overdoing it. Let's start with a dungeon crawler. Uh, we'll do an... Um, we'll do a adventure. Dungeon crawling... Um, simulation. Strategy. Let's do, let's do an RPG again. We're doing RPG games. Oh god. <laughs> We're making no money! It's gonna be 2k graphics. I don't think we'll be able to do it. <sighs> 2d graphics. It's fine. We'll, we'll be in the red, but that's fine. Uh, engine, so gameplay is gonna be fine. There's no stories or quests. The engine, it, it doesn't matter. There's like barely, there's like a little bit of stories and quests. Outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware. Okay, yeah. Might sell. Nice. That's good. We have zero fans, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, development process. Learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. Insight. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hit it. Hints to the, uh, the hints range from plus, 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 plus to minus, minus. Uh, and indicate how important area and the type of the game is. Uh, okay, same genre. I, uh, okay. Dialogues? We don't need dialogue. Artificial intelligence and a little bit of level design. It's space. We don't need that much level design. All right. This this game's gonna sell like hotcakes. Your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50k. But be careful, if your account balance is below 50k, you will go bankrupt. Ah shit. Uh, sound <laughs> graphics uh, don't matter. There, it's planets, uh, world design, and sound. There you go. Hold on. Cool. Let's do it. Oh yeah. This game, watch, the numbers are gonna be like 10 out of 10s. Second game in, in the business and we're already gonna be like uh, god tier. Let's release it. Create a game with a good topic and genre combination. Okay. First reviews for the newly released game Star Cadets Command came in. Let's do this. Beautiful. Come on, I see tens. I like it. Quirky but good. Yo! 
go! It's a good game! According to the rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that uh, home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see uh, what Ninvento will deliver. We did it! Mm. Yes! We got 40 fans! Star Cadet's command was so successful that we now have 40 fans. Let's uh, develop a new game. Wait. Wait. We should, yeah, we should definitely, uh, wait to do, um, we should definitely wait to do, uh, like, a new game engine until after we get 50 in research. Uh, what should we do next? Transport? Make Mario Bros. game <laughs> when you get the Ninvento. We're gonna do a dungeon. A dungeon simulation? We're gonna do strategy. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do a dungeon strategy for the Commodore 64. And it's gonna be called, um... Gumby's Rise. Gumby's Rise Robot Attack. Perfect. 2D graphics. Let's do it. It's gonna be, um, stories and quests, engine, like that. Artificial intelligence, uh, level design, dialogues. First reviews for Gumby's Rise Robot Attack. I see tens. Enjoyable. Okay. Come on, I see tens. Nice experience. Okay. I saw the ten. One of the best. I see that ten. Almost perfect. Wow. What should we name this uh this wonderful new engine? The sus engine. The sus engine. You can make Among Us. Among Us NES. <laughs> Your new game engine, the sus engine, is now complete. Congratulations. Your first custom game engine is now ready. You should be using it for your next uh, game. Okay, well, I guess we will develop a, a game. We can use the sus engine. And we're gonna pick the... Um, the TES. And it's gonna be a... An action game. Uh... Wait, hold on. Let's do, let's do a adventure game, and it's gonna be a, a fantasy adventure game. A transport adventure game. <laughs> it's gonna be a transport adventure game. <laughs> it's, it's, uh... Felipe's Crazy Town. <laughs> I don't know. First reviews of your newly released Felipe's Crazy Town. No! <laughs> no, no. Uh, 
<laughs> what a flop. It's gonna be a mature game. Or it's gonna be a game for everyone. We're gonna do, um... Tax Tycoon. It's gonna be a business game. It's gonna be a simulation game. It's gonna be for the Commodore 64. And it's gonna be on the sus engine. Okay? It's gonna be 2D gra it's gonna be 2D graphics. Uh version one. We don't need version two graphics. It's a tycoon game. The gameplay is gonna be very important. The story and quest is gonna be very important too, and the engine is gonna be very good. Dialogue, good. Artificial intelligence. You're gonna have to fight other people. You're gonna have to fight the, the legal system to try to commit tax fraud. Uh, that is a, a game design. Level design, there is not really much level design. Uh, but artificial intelligence and... Like, the artificial intelligence is related to the IRS. Dialogue and artificial intelligence. This game has to be a success. did it we did it we're back in the green i do want to do a new topic dystopian what are these like game genres dystopian <laughs> i there's only one game i know of about like a dystopian game and uh, recent um market data shows that the uh, Gavador 64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. It's an unofficial statement. It has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer, more advanced PCs. We're going to have to switch over to PC now. Or we can make a uh, dystopian. All right, I have an idea for the new for a new game. Okay. Now, hear me out. I was thinking we do a mature game. Mature audience. It's going to be called... Nuclear Winner. It's a dystopian game. An RPG dystopian game. On the PC. With the sus engine. With 2D graphics ver version 2. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell. I'm a reporter uh, for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Great, thank you for your time. We'll publish uh, the interview next week. <sighs> Nuclear winner. Give it a 10. My first 10? Shit, okay. Has its moments. Enjoyable. It's not the game-breaking game yet. Falls a bit short. Okay. Well, now we know. Sus Among Us Balls. <laughs> I'm not doing that. We'll just do Geneva. That sounds kind of neat. <sighs> okay. It's gonna be a, uh... It's gonna be a game for everyone. Chocolate Mint Muddy Buddies are the best? I've never had that. Uh. Tahiti's Descent. It's gonna be a dungeon... Uh, dungeon adventure game. Or, it's gonna be a dungeon strategy game for the PC. And it's gonna be on the Geneva. Although, I don't think I can do much with the Geneva. It's gonna be a text-based game. <laughs> it's gonna be a text-based game. No, it, it'll be a, uh, it'll be a... 
2D game. You just released the latest game. Um, we see that you are financial. Uh, your financial difficulties since you just released your latest game, Tahiti's Ascent. Um, we are willing to offer you a mini credit to get you over this month's payment. We we'll give you to cover your costs. Expect to be paid back in full amount, plus a small administration fee. Okay. This is their the games. Um, you made quite a name for yourself and saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow your company further, um, I mean, to a new office is the next step. Fine. We did it. Welcome, to, welcome to your new office. Uh, now that you have a bigger um, office, you can now hire staff to forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Now you may also train yourself and your staff to improve your skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. How's this message and click? Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, game. Alright, so what made this game a hit? Level design seems to be important. Graphics seems to be not very important. And the genre is great. The audience is great, and the top, um, the topic is great. Okay. Develop a game. We're gonna make a medium game. It's gonna be for everyone. The topic is gonna be, um... I think it's time to make ta uh, Tax Tycoon 2. I think it's finally time to make Tax Tycoon 2. It's gonna be a simulation game. For the PC on the Geneva con uh, engine, it's gonna have 2D graphics version two. First reviews. Let's see. Their focus and level design uh, served this game very well. Nice experience. I like it. Quirky, but good. It's not a huge success. Let's do an alternate, uh, an alternate history, uh, alternate history RPG for the PC with the Geneva, uh, version. And it's gonna be a, an everyone game. And we're gonna name it, what should we name it? Uh, we're gonna name it, um... Galactic uh, Galactic Dinosaurs. It's a medium game. We'll do a 2D graphics uh, version 2. Come on. Enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Played it for days. Love it. There we go. And we're gonna make it a mature, a mature game. Mature audience. And we're gonna do it, um, Guts Blood. Um, wait. Devil's Reject. Devil's Reject. We only do original games here. Alright, first reviews. Let's see what happens. Very good. That's good. Love it. 
RPG games work so well on the PC. Our first 10! We got our first 10 out of 10! Outstanding achievement! We did it! Latest game in CMM has received very positive reviews overall. All games gave it a 10, saying outstanding achievement. If CMM continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Let's just develop a, uh, a medium-sized game on our own. We're, we're going to name it. Uh, it's going to be, first of all, it's going to be a fantasy RPG on the PlayStation. The Genesis. We're going to name it. Um... Sequel Fantasy. And it's gonna be a game for everyone. We're gonna make it on 3D Graphics Version 1. Or we should just do 2D Graphics Version 3, honestly. 2D Graphics Version 3. Hi, this is Julian from GamerPro. We got word that CMM is working on a new game. Are you willing to... Share some information on the current project. Expectation regarding the success of of, um, of Sequel Fantasy. Do you think that the game will be well received? Hype game. Thank you for your time. This game is going to blow your balls off. First reviews. It's going to be 10 out of 10s. Occult status set a new standard for early gaming history. We have created a fucking phenomenal fucking game. An exclusive interview a while ago, Fido from CMM made a very bold remarks about their in-game development uh, game sequel, predicting that it will be an uber success. Now that the game is out, the market is uh, consistent is that Fido was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, this had a positive effect on sales. Boss, someone seems to have stolen our credit card um, information and used it to buy lots of things in the past three months. Unfortunately, we have lost $5,854.46. Sad. <laughs> 